Today, the U.S. Olympic Committee has begun the process of revoking USA Gymnastics status as the sport's governing body. This move comes in the wake of the sexual abuse scandal that has rocked the sport, with former national team trainer Larry Nassar serving 40 to 175 years in prison. And also after USA Gymnastics, many failed attempts to create a healthy and functioning organization. Here to help us understand the impact of this move is USA Today investigative reporter Rachel Axon. Rachel, why did the USOC reach this decision? I think this has been a long time coming in their letter to the gymnastics community that they wrote that the new leadership that's been in place has struggled to change the culture, rebuild the leadership, and serve the membership. If you'll remember, the USOC wrote to them in January and mandated a series of changes and said, you must do these things or we will come to this point. Uh, USA Gymnastics has continued to flounder and make some fairly questionable de uh, decisions, even with new leadership. And so that's why we're here now. Yeah, what are the next steps in terms of revoking this? What will we see happen next? So there will be a process that plays out under the USOC's bylaws. The USOC will appoint a three-person panel uh, that it, it will designate from various councils, and that will be chaired by a USOC uh, board member. They will have a hearing where uh, the USA Gymnastics can, you know, sort of present its arguments, uh, and obviously the USOC will have made its case. That panel will issue a report with recommendation with a recommendation of what should happen to the USOC board of directors. USOC CEO Sarah Hirschland can also issue a report to that board, and then based on those documents, the board will make a decision that's final. Most notably, the USOC bylaws don't outline a timeline for this, so uh, we certainly don't expect it to take forever, but there's nothing that says it's going to happen tomorrow or next week uh, or how that process plays out in terms of timing. It's easy to think of USA Gymnastics as just our Olympic team, but obviously there are thousands of athletes all around the country who fall under the umbrella of USA Gymnastics. If this goes all the way through and USA Gymnastics is, has its revoked from the USOC committee, what does it mean for the sport? That's got potentially huge ramifications. You know, certainly USA Gymnastics could continue functioning as an organization just without that recognition. But part of what being the Olympic NGB confers is a cachet and a credibility that draws people into that grassroots pipeline. As you mentioned, you know, thousands of athletes. The USA Gymnastics is one of the biggest NGBs with more than 150,000 members. And so if that's not the entity, I would expect that we would see people leaving the organization. You know, certainly in the interim while this process plays out, uh, uh, the elite level, the, you know, teams that are competing at Worlds and at the Olympics are going to be fine. USA Gymnastics will continue sort of functioning as it has been uh, in regards to them. But it's really the, the grassroots uh, that there are a lot of questions about how that could be affected uh, if it does lose its uh, NGB status. Yeah, we're seeing Simone Biles right now on the screen. And she, mm -hmm. along with so many other of our iconic gymnasts who are at the part of making sure that so much of this issue is brought to light. What role can these stars play in ensuring the next iteration of this organization is healthy? Well, I think part of what has gotten us here today has been the voices of survivors like Simone Biles. You just had Allie Raisman on earlier, who have really pushed for change and said the organization is not there yet. They're not showing us that they get this culture needs to change. You know, Simone Biles, in a tweet, led to decisions that closed the Caroli Ranch and led to interim CEO Mary Bono uh, leaving the organization after five days last month. They have a powerful voice, and they know it, and it's certainly clear the USOC is listening. All right. Thanks for your time today, Rachel.